In today's cartoon story joke, we're not talking about the usual suspects of the Animal Fame Hall, unless you count a particularly charismatic pigeon who keeps winning bread-based beauty contests. Forget Mickey and Goofy, we're diving into the real OG animal superstars, the ones who made history long before reality TV and influencer deals. Take Lake of the Dog, for instance. Now this pup wasn't exactly living the life of luxury. No gold collars or customized chew toys for Leica. Nope, she rocketed to fame, or maybe more accurately, space, strapped into Sputnik 2, becoming one of the first animals to ever see our little blue marble from way, way up there. Talk about a rough life, am I right? Beat. Okay, moving on before someone throws a tomato at me. Leica wasn't your typical astronaut applicant. No gleaming resume, no years at doggy flight school. Leica was a Moscow stray, a furball of mystery with a penchant for scavenging the tastiest borscht-soaked crusts. One day, while napping in a particularly sunny doorway, she was scooped up by a team of scientists in lab coats. Leica, ever the pragmatist, figured this was an upgrade from chasing pigeons. Free kibble, guaranteed. Training for space travel wasn't exactly walkies in the park. Leica found herself strapped into a contraption that looked like a hamster wheel on steroids, spinning her head over heels. Then there were the meals, a gloopy, lukewarm mush that Leica politely pretended to enjoy. A girl's got to maintain her dignity. The scientists, bless their bekilted souls, tried their best to prepare Leica for the big launch. They even played recordings of rockets taking off, which mostly just made Leica whimper and dig her paws into the floor. Can't blame her, that racket would give anyone anxiety. The launch day arrived, and Leica, sporting a fetching red spacesuit, because apparently space is fabulous, was tucked into a capsule that resembled a particularly posh sardine can. Now, Leica wasn't claustrophobic, but this was pushing it. Still, ever the trooper, she gave the scientists a thumbs up, well, a paw up, technically, and braced for liftoff. Leica's journey was a one-way trip, a fact the scientists, with questionable honesty, neglected to mention. But hey, free space snacks and a view to drool for, right? Leica, despite the cramped quarters and questionable food situation, became a global celebrity, the first dog in space. Sure, she might not have gotten a hero's welcome back on Earth, but her sacrifice, unintentional as it may have been, paved the way for future space pups. After all, who wouldn't trade chasing pigeons for a galactic adventure, even if the food situation left something to be desired? Leica, the accidental astronaut, became a legend, a testament to the fact that sometimes the best space programs involve a stray with a nose for adventure and a healthy dose of canine confusion. A couple of years later, it was the Americans' turn to strut their stuff with their Spain animals. Ham wasn't always destined for astronaut stardom. In fact, his life began rather unceremoniously, swinging through the trees in Cameroon and chowing down on bugs. But fate, or perhaps a particularly enthusiastic trapper, had other plans. Ham found himself yanked from his jungle paradise and shipped to a place called the Miami Rare Bird Farm. Now, picture this a confused chimp surrounded by squawking parrots and bewildered flamingos. Not exactly the ideal career counseling session. One day, a group of men in lab coats showed up, looking less like bird enthusiasts and more like they'd wandered in from a rocket convention. They poked and prodded Ham, muttering about space travel and willing participants. Let's just say Ham wasn't volunteering for this field trip. Next stop, Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. Here, things got interesting. Ham's days were filled with blinking lights, levers that dispensed treats, when he got the answer right, that is, and a comfy spacesuit that, while a tad itchy, came with a surprisingly stylish helmet. Turns out, Ham was a natural. He grasped the whole pull the lever when the light turns green concept much faster than some of the human recruits. We're looking at you, Bob, from accounting. Finally, the big day arrived. Ham was strapped into a capsule that looked suspiciously like a giant metal banana. Hey, maybe that's why he seemed so chill about the whole thing. 
with a roar and a puff of smoke, Ham rocketed into the sky, the first chimp ever to become an astro chimp. He may not have known it, but this little guy with a penchant for bananas was paving the way for future space cowboys, all while pulling levers and earning himself a lifetime supply of fruit snacks, or so he hoped. So, the next time you look up at the stars, remember Ham, the accidental astronaut who braved the unknown with a healthy dose of chimpanzee nonchalance. After all, who wouldn't trade a life of bugs for a trip to space, even if it meant wearing a slightly itchy helmet? This time, though, Ham made it back to Earth and lived happily ever after. Now, the history books are full of these animal A-listers. Cher Ami, the pigeon who delivered a crucial message in World War I, turns out even birds can be war heroes. Dolly the sheep, the first cloned mammal. Talk about a ba -dee idea, if you ask me. And Balto, the heroic sled dog who saved a town during a diphtheria outbreak, though rumor has it, he still whined the whole way. All legends, no doubt. But let's face it, sometimes the most epic tales come from the most unexpected sources. Well, this is a first. O'Malley muttered, more to himself than the primate. A strange sense of urgency seemed to emanate from the little creature. Almost on a whim, O'Malley blurted, I wish you could talk and tell me what happened here. To his utter bewilderment, the monkey stopped mid-hop, tilted its head, and bobbed it up and down emphatically. O'Malley blinked, jaw slack. You, you understood me? Another vigorous nod. This was getting weirder by the minute. All right then, did you see what happened? O'Malley ventured, a hint of amusement creeping into his voice. The monkey mimicked holding a can to its lips, then tilting it back dramatically. Drinking? O'Malley guessed, a smile playing on his lips, a rapid nod from the little furball. Smoking some weed too, huh? The monkey pinched its imaginary fingers together and pretended to puff on them. O'Malley burst out laughing. Smoking some weed too, huh? The monkey nodded enthusiastically. O'Malley chuckled, crouching down to the monkey's level. So, let me get this straight. Your owners were out here partying before they crashed? A final, definitive nod. And what exactly were you are doing during all this? O'Malley asked, genuinely curious. The monkey, with a mischievous glint in its eyes, stood on its hind legs, puffed out its chest, and mimicked steering a wheel with its tiny hands. O'Malley stared, then doubled over in laughter. You were driving? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.